next at number 21, we have a very different kind of show. This show stars Billy Brillerton as, well, himself, in Billy the Exterminator. With a tale like that, the show is pretty self-explanatory. It's about Billy, well, the exterminator, and he goes around the place, usually Louisiana, to save people and sometimes even animals. Despite the name of the show, he doesn't really do that much exterminating. It's usually just when he deals with cockroaches, rats and stuff like that. Most of the time, Billy, being a good person, tries to relocate the animals, which I think is a very nice touch. He could have just easily killed the animals, but no, he tries his best to catch them and relocate them. Despite seeing Billy go on his adventures, which sometimes get out of hand, the best part of the show was actually Billy himself. He does such a nice, likeable guy, and it's kind of hard not to feel sad for him when he gets hurt or is in distress, which thankfully very rarely happens. You get called in for a mouse job like this one. You think you're dealing with some harmless, cute little mouse, and then BAM! It turns into a life or death situation. Oh god. Oh god, it bit me. Rick, help! Rick! Help me, man, it hurts. Get him off me, man. Get him off. Ow! Oh. Do I need medical attention? What is it? No, man, I think you're gonna be all right. It's not poisonous. Is poison. that a king snake? It is a king, it's not poisonous. Oh, dude, thank God you came Damn, in here. man, he went right through your glove? Yeah. Damn, he meant yeah, business. Yeah, dude, oh my God. Dude, Look at me, right? I'm freaking shaking, man. Yeah. Despite Billy being the star of the show, there are of course other people, including his mother and father, and even his brother, who most of the time tags along with him and helps him out. The only bad thing I could say about this show is, well, sometimes, but not all the time, there's these stupid family interaction scenes, usually involving some drama like an old girlfriend returning or a conflict between the family. Thankfully, it very rarely happens, like I said, but most of the time it just feels tiresome and forced. It's kind of like those scenes in Pawn Stars. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of these kinds of shows, there's just something about Billy Burton's kind demeanor that makes him come off as kind of charming and likeable. I don't know why, I just really like the guy. So, if you ever come across the show, I'd honestly give it a watch. So how did I get into entomology? I sure didn't want to be one growing up. I wanted to be a cop or CIA, FBI, something cool like that. I decided to join the Air Force with Uncle Sam, and when I went in, I told the counselor, please get me in law enforcement or some type of secret intelligence. And I'll never forget the day I got my job in basic training. It came back as a number, 566XO. We rushed over to this book and everybody looked up their jobs by number, except mine wasn't in there. And I really started to get excited thinking, oh my God, it is, it's gonna be intelligence. Why wouldn't my number be in there? The drill instructor pulls me aside and he says, I found out what you're gonna be doing for a living. 
And I said, oh yeah, what's that? He said, well, you better get some pointed boots, son, because you're going to need to be kicking into corners. And I said, sir? He said, you're going to be kicking into corners. You're a damn bug squisher. I could not believe it, man. I almost had a heart attack. I called my mom and dad crying. I'm like, oh my God, I joined the Air Force to squish bugs. I could have stayed in the real world to do that. When I first got out there, the first job they gave me was keeping these wild coyotes off the runway. They told me, look, boy, if one of these coyotes drop a $30 million aircraft because they run into it, it's going to be your fault. If one of these aircraft suck a bird through the intake and you wreck it, it's your fault. So then I started taking my job very serious.